and welcome to another video from Rob Neely. This one is especially meant for my Seneca College students in my ICA course in the winter of 2014, but really anyone who wants to know about File Explorer. The new look File Explorer in Windows 8 or 8.1 can benefit from watching this video. So here I am looking at my start screen. I'd like to start File Explorer. As you know in Windows 8 in the start screen you can simply start typing a word and it will look for all instances of that word in particular for programs or files. Now you can see under search File Explorer has come up. I'm just going to click that now. File Explorer loads real quickly shows me an overview of the entire computer including the new interface look with the ribbon. I'm just going to close this for a second and reopen it. There are two other ways at least to open File Explorer. One can be found on your ribbon in the bottom left corner of the taskbar. And the other is a keyboard shortcut. You know I'm fond of keyboard shortcuts. That would be Windows key E. And once again there's File Explorer. So you're having a look at this window and it might be the first time you've seen it. You could be wondering to yourself, what do I do once I get here? Great question and I have the answer for you. In File Explorer you get a behind the scenes look of your computer. This is kind of like lifting the hood up of a car and looking in at the engine and all the neat stuff under there and uh, tinkering with it. This is where you can tinker with your computer. Um, power users love File Explorer, I have to tell you. I consider myself a kind of power user so I really like working here. It lets me do mass operations look at the properties of things. In fact, I'm going to stop so I don't get ahead of myself here. In File Explorer you can basically do three or four major tasks. And you can sort of get an idea of it just by looking at the interface in the window here. One is you can examine all the major drives, folders, and files in your computer. So for instance, looking at this window, you can see a menu up here. It lets me sort of switch between different tabs on the ribbon. You can see some of the major commands when you first start File Explorer. If you look on the left, you'll get a great overview of all your folders, files, and drives. So I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit, and I guess here's what's important, right? There is letters for each drive. C, which is your main hard drive for most of us. D, which is usually a recovery drive. And uh, if you have anything else plugged into your computer, right now I have my USB plugged in, you'll see that too. You can see the letter F. If you're wondering what happened to the letter E, let's just move over to the right here. There's the letter E, and that's for the DVD drive. As well, if you look down near the bottom, you can see anything that's on the network. So this is Ripley, and uh, she's one of the computers on the network, and that's the network itself. Okay, So I get a lovely overview of the entire computer. If I click on a drive letter like C, I'll see the contents of everything on C. And that would be folders, as you can see, and files. And you'll see a file right there. Same thing with the recovery drive, although Windows probably doesn't want me to look in there. That would be typical. Same thing with the USB, and I'm just going to click on my USB. And at a glance, you get to see everything on a particular drive or in a particular folder. So for instance, for this one, Professor Neely, my uh, USB, you can see I've got major folders in there. And in fact, you should recognize one of those. It's for you, ICA001 for the winter of 2014. You'll see some pictures, some Word documents, uh, and uh, even some other files. For instance, there's a PowerPoint file uh, sitting in the middle of that window. So when you click on something on the left side, like a drive or a folder, it shows you the contents of that drive or folder on the right side. And in fact, there's little ways you can help yourself. You see that little arrow there that I'm pointing to? That will expand the uh, subfolder list for this particular USB. And I can click on any part of it, and I just did again. And you can see that's the folder I have for you in the ICA course. So very easy to navigate, but you can navigate here as well. Or you can even navigate up here in the address bar by going backwards and forwards as much as you want. And there we are back at the overview that we had before. 
I kind of like this view, but you can change the view. And this is one of the important flexible parts of File Explorer. For instance, I'm just going to click on that right now, go up to the top of the window, click View on the ribbon, and I just want to show you what different views do for you. They just fit the same information uh, into this screen in a different way. And everybody likes to work in different ways. Um, my favorite way to work here is in details. Okay, So uh, once again, I'm just going to back up uh, right to where I started, go back to computer on the ribbon, and show you another neat property, another neat feature of File Explorer, and that's the control panel. If I click the control panel button here, open control panel, from here I can do really anything I need to. For instance, recently I've had some problems with printers. I can go and look at all the devices and printers that I have on this computer. I can uninstall a program. I can make Windows easier for me to use. And there's all sorts of other things I can do when I get here. Of course, if I get stuck, I can go up one level or backwards one level if it's available. Uh, for instance, if I quickly move to libraries, I can also go backwards one level if I need to. So you've got various ways to navigate once you get here. Okay? And File Explorer is the handiest thing in terms of working with files, and I think that's the real purpose of it. Working with folders and files. So if I scroll down and uh, go down to Prof Neely, that's my USB, and say for instance I'm in the right side of the window and I wanted to copy this file. As soon as I click on it, notice what happens to the ribbon. There are commands for cut and copy. I can move it or copy it to a specific place. I can delete it if I wish. I can look at the properties of it. So I can do just about everything I might be able to do if I were actually working with that picture in its own application. I can do it from here. And once you do click on an item, you get many more options appearing in File Explorer. Okay, and there's some pretty cool options there. So I consider File Explorer as a very, very important tool for uh, Windows users, particularly Windows 8, 8.1 users. It's got a nice interface. It's visual. It works very quickly. It gives you a behind-the-scenes look at the computer and lets you accomplish just about all of your folder and file organization tasks. So I'm just going to close that now and say, you know how to get a hold of me if you have any questions. It's Robert with two T's dot Neely, N-E-I-L-L-Y, at Seneca College dot C-A. I hope you enjoyed this short video on File Explorer.